assalamu alaikum in this lecture we will talk about html tags essential for search engine optimization over the previous years html tags influence on rankings has been decreasing and now web masters can even choose not to use some tags in their html at all and be okay after that however there are still some tags that enhance user experience by providing better navigation and best match with queries give guidance to search engines on where to find the most important parts of the site or which parts to overlook make serp snippets look more attractive and informative Title tag. Title tags are usually used by search engines to determine the subject of a particular page and display it in search engine results pages. A title tag is one of the first thing that people see in search engine results pages. Thus, these tags used to be the ones that got stuffed with keywords up to madness. Now the search engine is able to interpret a page topic without exact keywords in the title but on the basis of all the elements of a page meta description images users activity matrices and content itself title tags are used in three places of the highest visibility search engine results pages here is the place where the user decides to click on not to click it is advisable to keep a title tag under 70 characters long otherwise it can be cut in search engine results pages and some of your important words may be omitted meta description tag Meta description is a short paragraph of text in the HTML head section of a page. It is usually displayed in a search engine results pages snippet after website's title and URL. The value of meta description is very close to the titles. It is an important element of a page that helps search engines to determine the subject of the page and allows users to understand whether the page matches their query. Meta description can be seen in two places of the highest visibility. The meta description length had to be about 300 characters. Open graph tags. Open graph tags are additional meta tags in HTML head section of a page that allow any web page to become a rich object in social networks. It was first introduced by Facebook in 2010 and further recognized by other major social media platforms. OG tags let you control how the information about your page is represented when shared via social channels. This possibility may help you enhance the performance of your links on social media. Robots tag A robots tag is an element in the HTML of a page that informs search engines which page on your site should be indexed and which should not. It is generally used to prevent search engines from indexing individual pages. If you do not add this tag to your HTML, search engines will crawl and index all your pages by default. Headers tags. Header tags are the headings from H1 to H6 you use to structure your page. It is totally okay not to use header tags at all. Everything will surely be fine. However, these tags help search engines read your content in a more efficient way. The order of your header tags H1 to H6 
shows the level of importance of each section. From time to time, Google likes to make list type featured snippets out of the headings of a particular page. ALT Attributes The ALT text attribute is a part of an image tag and it provides a description for an image. ALT text plays a major role in image optimization. It makes your images accessible both to search engines and to people. And by displaying an alternative text in case a particular image cannot be loaded or helping screen readers convey images. Canonical tag Let's assume you have two versions of the same page, each with exactly 100% the same content. The only difference is that they are in separate sections of your site and because of that the background color and the active menu item are different. That's it. Both versions have been linked to from other sites, so the content itself is clearly valuable. So which version should search engines show in results? Thank you very much for watching. If you want to check out more lessons like this then subscribe the channel and like the video and if you have any question then leave it in comments section. See you in the next lecture. Take care. Bye bye.